Hi, and welcome to my third tutorial about Spring Security. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to perform logout. So this is fairly easy. We'll just visit a specific uh, URL. Out instance. I'll also import JSTL tag library to make uh, things easy. So link will be this. J Spring Security Logout. Now let's run our web application. And let's visit admin private page. Let's log in with our credentials. Okay, here it is. Now let's click on this logout. And we will redirect it to our, our default page or home page. So this means that our secure session is now invalidated. Uh, I'll prove that by typing again, adding private page. And as you can see, it will ask us for credentials again. Now let's log in again. And in most of tutorials I found uh, around the internet, the story about Spring Security Logout ends here on this URL, but this is not the end actually. Now let's log out again and let's see what happens if we click this back button on our browser. And as you can see, content of our private page uh, is still displayed. Uh, well, what if there are some really private data in this page? That would be really bad. So this happens be because uh, this private page is cached and we should do something about that. We should disable this cache. And for that, we will use something uh, what's called Web Content Interceptor. And the interceptors generally in Spring are classes that process our requests before of controllers. So we'll use Web Content Interceptor to disable this caching. I'll open my Eclipse again and I'll open my servlet context XML and define Web Content Interceptor beam here. So all interceptors are defined between these interceptors tags. Okay. Beans beam IDs, for instance, that content uh, interceptor classes work spring. Framework, web, servlet, and we see web content interest. And I'll also set few properties. Beans property first is cache seconds, and value will be zero. Second property is beans property use expires header values true beans property third property is use. Uh, 
cache control header values true. And the last properties use cache control no store, which is also true. Now that should work fine and disable caching. Let's run it again. Let's waste our server. Let's go to our admin private page again and let's log in. Okay, now let's log out and let's click uh, back button on our browser and it will prompt us to log in again. It won't show content of our private page anymore. So that should be it when it comes to uh, logout in Spring Security. See you next time. Bye.